So Tom, tell me, um, I don't know how the, the project of doing Toy Story 2 came up in Disney, but when they decided to, or probably you decided to do the, what were the fears you, you had when it came up, the, the idea of doing it again? Qual foram os medos que você teve que enfrentar na hora de, de criar Toy Story 2? There's really no fear about beginning a project like this, but what you are aware of is how beloved the first film is. And, and I think that caught all of us off guard. We knew that we loved the movie, but you have no way of knowing if the public is going to respond. And the response to Toy Story just kept building and building and building, and particularly an affection for the characters in the movie. That's what tells you you might want to do a sequel, because people want to be with those characters again. Because a sequel shouldn't tell the same story, but you want to be with the same characters. So then when we began the process, all we really were doing was being dedicated to keeping a story alive, a new story, with those great characters and being true to them. I don't think there was fear involved. And in that sense, how different uh, is Toy Story 2 from the first one? In this sense, how different is Toy Story 2? Well, I think the primary difference is that instead of staying with a story inside the bedroom, which mostly reveals who our characters are, and, and we discover them, in this case, we already have revealed who they are. Now we're going to explore who they are. We're going to find out how they exist in the world. That's the, the primary difference. And the second big difference is this time, really, Woody is having a crisis of self, whereas in the first film, Buzz has a crisis of self. Buzz doesn't know who he is. And in a sense, Woody begins to question who he is in this film. And when you come up with the idea of, of course, although in America, uh, in Brazil, it's a different, different voices. But in America, we have big talents doing the voices behind the, the characters. And when you decide, let's do it again, how was the reaction of, of the people, the actors who gave their voices to the, to the characters? Was it a difficult negotiation, or did they just jump into the boat quickly? Foi fácil conseguir as mesmas vozes para fazer os personagens? The, um, the issue about the actors coming back is, the, the, I think everybody in the cast, without exception, had such a great time making the first film. And I think they really felt they were pioneers. It was the first ever computer animated feature length movie. They felt like they were pioneering. Plus, the film was enormously successful, which reflects on them in a very positive way. You add into that how close they all became to John Lasseter, the director. And John is so smart and so clever and so good with the actors that when we had the idea to do the sequel, it was fairly easy. You know, you, go, you contact the people, they have their people, your people talk to their people, and here we all are again. I have a, an idea, and I believe it's true, but I want you to give me the, the real fact behind my idea. Isn't it that, although it's very difficult today to get some names, to do some movies in Hollywood because the salaries are immense and everything, um, is it easy for you when you come up with an with a animation feature and you call the biggest names in Hollywood and all of them want to participate because it's a Disney film, they all, all want to be in history in a Disney film and also they want their children to see them? Is that true? Os, os grandes atores de Hollywood não tem problema de, de participar dos filmes da Disney, né? Well, it's an interesting thing when you cast a movie because the most important thing is finding a great actor who has a great voice. You want to match it up. So we have an idea for who the character is going to be, whether it's in a film like Tarzan or in a film like, like Toy Story 2. You have an idea of the character and then you begin to listen to actors, either auditioning or taking actors um, who you know and pulling their voice off of other movies and, and doing tests with it. It's the process of marrying the two together. And then you go to the actor and you ask them if they'll do it. And in every case, it's different. A lot of famous people have done our movies. Um, a lot of people who are really great actors who are not that well known have done our movies. And we've had enormous success with actors who are very well known. And we've also had enormous success with actors who are just working actors. Some of the most popular characters ever in our movies, like Timon and Pumbaa, were really, at the time, the, the great Ernie Sabella, who plays Pumbaa, and uh, Nathan Lane, who plays Timon now are very well known. When we made the movie, they weren't that well known, and certainly not well known in Hollywood, and yet Timon and Pumbaa are two of the most beloved characters ever. Then you have Buzz and Woody, who we went to immediately to very well known actors to play them. Every movie approaches it differently, and uh, it's really about not famous people, it's about great actors, many of whom happen to be famous. And about, you mentioned the, 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 the were pioneers doing a, this animated film by computers. Uh, so uh, after all the time that passed since uh, the first Toy Story, how is the, the, the fight or, or the relationship between the, the computer animators and the, the regular animators? Have they, they come together in a, in a peaceful, uh, common 
place or are, are there still some kind of resentment between them? Or there was ever any resentment between them? É, como é a relação hoje em dia, passado o tempo, desde o Toy Story 1, do relacionamento entre animadores de computação e os animadores normais? Well, from the very beginning, Walt Disney had set out to um, keep evolving and adapting feature animation, and he kept changing the technology. And way back in the, in, the, in the early 80s, we began to explore, and then into the mid-80s, ways to use computer animation in our movies, sometimes to play inanimate objects and, and to use the camera in different ways. So the idea of computer technology in our movies was not a surprise. What's different here is that John Lasseter had really pioneered something special, which was unique character animation in a very specific style with very credible, believable, charming characters. So that's what Toy Story is. You know, John Lasseter and, and his team went to school with the same animators who work at Disney and work at all the other studios. And they all come out of the same tradition, which is about character, the quality of animation, story, um, compelling themes. And John just uses a different tool to make it. But I don't think there's a, there's not a sense of competition about it.